We're having a little look at how sheep farmers make some money. There should be some ready to go, and without that, I'd have been struggling. I didn't even buy a can of spray to mark the ones I want to shed out. <laughs> Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game and today we're having a little look at how sheep farmers make some money because at the end of the day it's a business, there's big rents to pay because every single bit of ground I've got is rented so we need to make some money back in to pay the rent, we can't just pay it all with the shearing checks. Economics and the money involved in sheep farming is something that I'm going to cover in a video at some point. I think it would be quite interesting even just to talk about my own situation and the rents that I pay and the money that I bring back in from sheep. There's no doubt, as it is just now, it's big losses every year but the numbers are increasing every year and essentially every penny I bring in I put back into buying more sheep. The ruination of many a good man, I'm sure, but it's what we're into just now. So this lot of lambs here that Meg is about to just go and gather are Texo lambs off of my mule ewes, so that is the ewe that I explained in a previous video called What is a Mule, if you have a look at that. It's a black faced mother, blue faced Lester father, produces a fantastic sheep that produces fantastic Texel lambs, or any sort of fat lambs. Hello Meg, we, we. Obviously it's very dark just now, I've got this new light thing for the camera that lets you see me but you probably don't see very much else. There's 170 or so at this bit. The ones in this field, there's three fields. The ones in this field were slightly further on when I put them here. That was two months ago and I said I was only going to put them in for a couple of weeks and get them away. So hopefully, there should be some ready to go. And I haven't missed the boat and I've started going backwards. There is a good bite in this field, a good bite of grass. So they should be doing okay. Sheep prices are good just now. They're back up over two pounds per kilo last week. Today is the 8th of November. For reference, I'm bad for not mentioning dates and I'm always running so far behind, although I'm trying to catch up now. We, see, we, look up, here, here. So as I said, getting a bit brighter now, the sun's coming up all the time. It's around about half past six, quarter to seven. You'll see the lambs running down the fence line here as Meg brings them round. Hopefully she got them all. Wouldn't be the first time there's 20 left up the back corner that I can't see. See, 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 we, See that, that, that nonsense, that's annoying, she pushes on too hard. Why like, didn't? Pushes on that bloody hard that she leaves a couple back. So Lanark Market is our destination with the lambs once we get them drawn. That's one of those markets and it's something I'm going to cover again in another video at some point. Talking about getting started in sheep and markets helping you out etc etc. But the markets play quite a key role in getting boys started in farming. As they can offer different finance opportunities and things like that to get stocked up. Lanark was one that was a big help to me when I started. Gregor Brody sought him out quite well there, so it's a good chance to give him a shout uh, and a mention for doing that as well. Same goes to Drew Kennedy here. Those two boys really sought him out when I first started up getting stocked up. Because the problem is, you get ground, you're investing a lot of money just paying the rent for that ground, and stock, you know, 100 mule gimmers will be 10 to 14 grand, depending how well the trade is that year. So that's just 100 sheep. There's 10 to 14,000 you need to find to stock up. So markets like Lanark in here, just naming the two that helped me out, showed a bit of faith and without that I'd have been struggling to really get enough stock to even put on the ground that I'd agreed to rent. So any of you young guys thinking about getting started at something worth speaking to your local auctioneer, your local market, see if there is anything they can do for you. I don't actually own a set of scales. So we'll just be feeling these lambs, see if they're fleshy. Kind of using the process that Kaz used for body scoring the ewes pre-tupping. Similar idea, you just feel across the back, across the sides, whatever parts he named it. You just feel the back and see if they're fleshy enough. I don't really want anything under 38 kilos going, but we'll do our best to make sure that doesn't happen. And I'll just pull them out by feel. Tell you how unprofessional I am, I didn't even buy a can of spray to mark the ones I want to shed out. So we'll just need to wing it here.
So I have drawn out 50 odd lambs there. The next job is just bring the trailer and we'll get them loaded up and we'll get them through to Lanark. There was some on the lighter side, but they're fleshy. Trade's good. We should still hopefully reach that mid 70s to 80 plus pound for the lighter ones. I'd like to see us hitting about 90 for the bigger ones. But you never know till you get them in. That's the uncertainty of selling through the live ring. You might say, why are you taking the lighter ones? Why not let them run on a bit? Well, I have a lot of sheep about me just now. Probably over a thousand sheep running. Not probably. Over a thousand sheep running. So we could just take ease up a bit of space just make sure i'm going to have plenty of grass see me through the winter another factor is cash flow it's that time of year it's november there's rates to pay summer grazing various things like that a lot of cash going out in november so it's good to have some cash coming in and keep things moving not just that it's been an absolute fortune buying sheep game jackets like mental hop hop no, it's just not like that, it's just not like canopy. So the title of the video is obviously how farmers make money. There's a common misconception, and I see it a lot from people I work with in the town, etc. Who believe that sheep farmers make their money from wool. But could not be further from the case. Wool is actually a big expense at the moment to the UK sheep farmer. Different maybe if you've got Romneys or some finer wool breeds. But for the general UK sheep farmer, wool is a big cost. To shear a sheep like this is going to cost the farmer it's at 150 maybe down to 135 depending where you are in the country the least that comes off this sheep is probably going to be worth about big sheep like that even maybe at most a pound very unlikely to be anywhere even near that this year but let's say a pound so it's cost 150 to shear the fleece returns one pound you've then got to pay the extra staff to put the sheep up to the shearer all the other hassle you have of shearing day for absolutely no return just a big expense so the way that sheep farmers in the uk make money is through lamb sales to the meat market so these lambs, the red heads there, that'll be mutton, they'll be used, it'll go and be sold as mutton. The lambs that don't have the red heads, the rest of them in here, they'll be sold as prime lambs into the food chain. So they'll be the kind of things you see on your shelves at your Aldi's and Lidl's. I know they sell Scottish lamb, I'm not sure about the rest of the supermarkets, although we'd obviously like to see a lot more. I know Waitrose has committed to starting to sell Scottish lamb, which is good. Love Waitrose as well. Get so many nice wee delicatessen things in there. Even just carrying a Waitrose bag gives you a wee bit of a status symbol. Selling these lambs at market is essentially the only return sheep farmers get for their stock. Prime lambs, fat lambs, into the market, into the food chain is our main source of income. I should also say that a lot of sheep farmers will breed sheep for breeding purposes, for selling on as breeding lambs. So their females will go for breeding. Like your farmers producing mule ewes, our mule lambs, rather, will be selling the females for breeding. So it's not all just about the meat market, although the males on that side of things still go for meat. So it is a key part of every sheep farmer's business plan and income stream, selling prime lambs into the food chain. Just thought I'd better cover that before I get a load of comments about it. Let's jump now to Lanark Market, where I won't be able to go in with the lambs, but I'll go over the line with you and talk about the prices I got. Let's go. So, lambs are dropped off. The way things are at the markets just now with coronavirus restrictions, there's no unnecessary persons within the market, so I can't go in and film the lambs being sold like I had done previously. But what I can do is I can talk you through the line and the money we got for the lambs there. So, I'll put the line that I got from Lanark Market up on the screen just now, so you can see as I'm speaking, it should be about here somewhere. So we sold 44 prime lambs, that's 44 sheep that are under a year old and 10 cast sheep that's essentially anything over a year old so the 44 prime lambs averaged 41.8 kilos and 201 pence per kilo which came to an average of 84.10 per head and if you look down through the line there you see that my 17 texel lambs at 44 kilos they were at 89.50 the 7 texel lambs at 43 kilos 87 and a couple of real dunts to the average there I had a cross lamb oh i know what that cross lamb was that was that top lamb that shouldn't have been in that lot and i really needed rid of it so rather than take it home and feed it i just brought it in anyway so got 40 quid for that which is probably a fair price for what it was all in all a good trade for the lambs averaging over two pounds per kilo is always good on to the ewes 10 cash ewes averaged 69 pounds 80 pence 
which are another good price for, for old Jews. They're not even old Jews, they're just used with problems. Again, nothing really jumping out there. There was that one big half-bred Jew made £80, and the, the mule yows were all about £72. It's a good trade. I'm very happy with that. I would need to sit down and work out all the figures, but if you're selling lambs at £2 per kilo, you should be making a profit. So we'll see you at the end of the year when we do the books and maybe do a video about the accounts, how we're getting on. But that's the end of this one, guys. Short, sweet, snappy. Sorry we can't do any filming in the market just now, but hopefully once this uh, vaccine gets rolled out and things get moving, we'll get back into getting some live footage of some sales. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you clicked the subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the trade in the comments. And we'll see you for the next one. Cheers. I should also say that a lot of boys... Oh, I keep saying boys, man. I need to say girls. I need to say sheep farmers. Your boys produce... Like your farmers producing mule ewes.